This boat here is a steam powered boat. How awesome is that? I just made him blow his oar and shoot his load. <laughs> Ahoy there! If you're new to the channel, I'm Heidi and I live and work aboard my canal boat home, the Rum Wench. This little beauty is my lovely rescue dog, Bonnie, who feels that she can take on the world. If you want to watch a middle-aged woman and a dog faffing about, then join us on our quest for adventure as we go in search of fun and giggles. So the fuel boat's just making their way now down the boats and I'm desperate for some diesel and some gas. And then once I've got everything on board, I'm gonna head off up the rest of these locks and try and make it to the Ashby Canal today. That's the plan. And we're off. Yes, I've had a lovely time here at Atherston. What a lovely little town. It's all down one street, loads of shops and that. Fantastic. I went shopping yesterday. I got all my supplies on board because there's a big Aldi here, big supermarket. I also got my hair cut. <laughs> so it's so nice not having a big bouffant anymore. So now onwards to do these five locks and then I'll be lock free for a while. just been and opened the lock and got covered in uh, paint there is a wet paint sign there just didn't see it I'm so dipsy at times <laughs> oh. but it's nice to see they're looking after the locks up there and only got it on my hand I'm normally covered in lockages anyway <laughs> I'll wash off but anyway this is the first lock of the day So this boat on the right here is a replica of a steam tunnel tug and what they used to do back in the olden days was pull the old horse-drawn boats through the really long tunnels. Have you got a horn? This boat here is a steam powered boat. How awesome is that? I just made him blow his oar and shoot his load. <laughs> Brilliant, so exciting. So of all these locks, we've got some volunteers on the last one. Woohoo! Bless him. Oh. And then that's it for me. Am I okay to stay on? Of course you are, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You won't hear again. So that's it for me now. All the locks are done. So I'm just looking for somewhere to quickly moor up so I can get Bonnie out on the roof with me. Put little Bonnie on the roof and I was just talking to these guys here that they, they watched the channel and they wanted to meet little Bonnie and Bonnie's just met their gorgeous little dogs and you were good as gold, weren't you Bonnie? Oh it's so lovely meeting those people then, it does make my day when people say oh, I'll watch you on YouTube, it really does make my day. Right so we're heading now and we're hopefully today going to get ourselves onto the Ashby. This is a part of the Coventry Canal which is absolutely gorgeous. 
very shallow though at the sides but it's lovely I just want to say as well thank you so much for all the lovely comments in YouTube on the YouTube comments they make my day it's so lovely and meeting people like I met before it really does but what I wanted to address something today is about trolling yeah I also amongst all the lovely comments I get 300 lovely comments and then you get one really hateful nasty comment it doesn't affect me I, I'm not bothered about it at all in fact it makes me laugh um, I'm in a little group with some friends and we share our trolling experiences and we do have a little bit of a giggle over it but we'll talk a little bit more about that just when I get past these more boats So back to the little trolls and I do call them little trolls because they obviously got little willies. <laughs> yeah so not everyone's going to like my channel, the way I do things on YouTube and things like that and that's fine but it's the people that log in to say to me things like you know you filthy dirty lesbian, I hope you get raped, um, if I see you or your boat I'll set you both on fire. I've had all sorts of hateful stuff. But then it's like everything in life, it's really easy to look at the negative and focus on all the negatives rather than looking at all the positives. So for me, out of 300 comments, I get one nasty one, you know, so you look at all the good and it's the good and it's you guys, all your lovely, caring, warm commenting that just makes me continue doing this and I really appreciate it. And when you do see like a really nasty comment, you know, I'm not talking about people that disagree with what I'm doing or, you know, have a comment about things. That's fine, everyone's entitled to opinion. I'm talking about the hateful stuff. And when you see the hateful stuff, you just think, tiny willy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look how beautiful this canal is. Wow. That sky's looking a bit dark. Hope it doesn't rain. What do you think, eh, Bonnie? So we'll be approaching the junction very shortly. The last time I was actually on the Coventry Canal was about 2018, 2019, when I went on to the Oxford at Hawkesbury Junction. there then but we've made it yes we are now officially in one second we're on the Ashby <laughs> but now to find somewhere nice to moor up for a day or so So I'm looking for a proper mooring really, a visitor's mooring at the space. But I have been warned this canal is very, very shallow, so not just to pull in anywhere, because if I get grounded, I'll need pulling off. Yeah, good tug. So I'm trying to find a proper official visitor's mooring. But it's so beautiful, a really beautiful canal.
Just whilst I'm faffing mooring up, can I just say a massive shout out to Nicole Dennis for becoming a support of the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much. So finally got myself all moored up here and it's lovely. I was talking to some boaters up there then. Fabulous, I'm right in, me bum's in. This is fantastic. It's a two day mooring, so I'll stay two days and try and get on with all my work, have an explore. But yeah, we're moored up and we're on the Ashby Canal. So I'm back here now in the little music studio aboard my boat and as most of you know I create most of the music on my YouTube videos and the main reasons for that is to get around the copyright with YouTube but also we use music on our videos to mask things that are going on so sometimes I'm cruising along at two or three miles an hour and there might be a couple just to the side of me walking at the same speed and they're chopped in having their own conversation they might be talking about the piles or something and I don't want that in my video <laughs> Yeah, so during those scenes, I'll put music over the top. Sometimes there's lots of wind noise and that cuts the sound out or there's things going on. Sometimes when you're going from one shot to another shot, the sound on that shot is completely different to the sound on that shot and you'll end up with clicks and pops. So when you put music on, it masks all those transitions. <laughs> yeah, so music's used for lots of reasons, but I'm creating my own. So as you know, last week we did a bit of piano and some strings into the piece. And then this week I've started adding a bit of choir and also some strings that's got a bit of momentum to them because what I want is the song to build up to like a climax. Rude! But lots of songs have like a structure, they'll have like a chorus and a verse and things like that. Whereas mine, this one, I wanted to just build and build to like, so it's quite cinematic and it has this big explosion. <laughs> so I'll show you a little bit about that now. So that's where we're up to so far. So we've got pianos, we've got some strings. I've then laid that with some choirs and also I've started a rhythmic string section so this track starts to build up and get some movement in it. Yeah, that's where we're up to. And can I just say as well, a massive thank you to all those that went to Bandcamp last week to buy my music, my existing stuff. It really meant the world to me, so thank you so much. This one's nowhere near finished, but it'll be there soon, hopefully, over the next few weeks. Good morning everyone. I was going to cruise today but the weather looks a bit crappy and it rained all day yesterday once I'd moored up. So I'm going to stay put today. I've got loads of little jobs I need to get on with and one of them is because I've had new locks put on my boat I've got a little bit of a rust problem. I'll just show you. Because obviously Brian was doing a bit of welding and that he had to grind back the paint. So I should have touched it up straight away but I haven't. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to put a bit of like rust converter on there and then paint it hopefully. So this not only is a handle for opening the hatch and that, but it's also called Bonnie's ring. And this is what we can put a lead through when she's on the roof, just to keep her safe so she doesn't go off wandering down the roof and fall off and that. But she hasn't done that yet, so she hasn't tried. But yeah, we're, it's Bonnie's ring, so I need to give it a good fettling with a bit of sandpaper and then put a little bit of cure rust on there. The other bit that I need to do is my nipples on the front. <laughs> These hold the lock in place here. And then I can put a little bit of black paint on there and they'll just sit nice and flush. But yeah, it's uh, boat jobs, they're never ending. So as most of you know, I trade as the pirate boat at festivals and along the canal and the front of my boat here is my shop space and I often display all my pirate stuff in there. So I just want to get this looking as nice as I can. So I went a little bit overboard with me blacking. Every time I saw something that needed a bit of black on, I just threw that rustins on it. I think it's a bit like a hammerite. It sort of does a little bit of everything. But I wanted to sort of make my new locks and that blend in. That was the main thing. So I've painted the actual lock itself and that looks loads better. 
I mean, it's not the right paint. Ideally, I need to have a gloss paint or something. But for now, it's a bit of protection. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Bonnie. Bonnie. And then obviously I've got to do the other side, but at the moment I'm heading that way, so I'll always be this side for a few weeks or something. And then once I've turned round, then yeah, I can get the other side done. Oh, jobs are never ending on a bleeding boat. So obviously I need to get some of this grey paint and then I can paint these nipples as well. Yeah. But at the moment, I mean, it looks a bit better, doesn't it? I'll never have a shiny boat, ever. Can't afford, just gotta make the best of what I've got. And we're off. This is a uh, 48 hour mooring, so I do need to move today. And we're heading off now. I'm hoping to get to Albion Wood because apparently there's some amazing walks around there. So I'm really looking forward to getting there. So are you, aren't you, Bonnie? So little Bonnie absolutely loves going on the roof. Today when I got a little bed out to put on here so she could sit in it, she got all excited, she was jumping around. She tried to jump off the counter to try and get on the roof. Cause I always have to lift her on. So she's so excited, she loves it. But it's really helping as well with her socializing because she's sat on here watching dogs walk by. She's watching the ducks. Yesterday when I took her on a walk, she walked past some swans really well because normally when she sees swans, especially from the land, not so much in the water, but from the land, she tries to run for them, chase them. And she's getting loads better at that as well. She's just improving every day. People have often asked if I've ever hit a duck or a swan on my boat and the answer is no, not in 11 years. The thing is, as your boat's moving along, it sort of pushes the water around it. That's what the bow is shaped like that for. So when they get close, it pushes them to the sides anyway, the water. And they're pretty sensible swans and ducks as well and they're very used to boats. But luckily, no, no accidents. Nice nipples. So I've just mowed myself up here at Sutton Chenny and I can't get in at all. I've just had some help from this gentleman here. I'm about two foot from the bank but the front's in, so we can always get on and off the front. But yeah, it's so shallow, this canal, and I'm so deep drafted, it just makes it really hard work. But there's lots of walks here now, so I'm really looking forward to exploring here over the next two days. But seriously, if anybody wants to swap their shallow drafted reverse layout narrowboat for this deep drafted old girl, then uh, let me know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's hard work, it's hard work, single landing, a deep drafted boat. So I'm currently walking through Ambient Wood. I love the fact that I've got all these things on the doorstep from my narrow boat. And Bonnie loves it. When we get to new places, she gets so excited going on all these new walks. And yesterday, when we moored up and came for a walk, I let her off a lead and she got the zoomies. She was so happy. What's this? Good girl, yeah. Good girl. So me and little Bonnie have just come to this cafe. My boat's only moored just around the corner and I'm treating myself. I hardly ever treat myself, to be fair. So I've got myself a little coffee and a scone or scone, depends what you call it. But it's lovely to be sat on the canal watching the ducks 
and it's a lovely little place and they've also got a little ice cream boat. Sitting in cafes is really good for little Bonnie to watch the world go by and meet other dogs. So where I'm actually moored now, there's loads of things that I want to show you, but I'm going to save that for the next video. But it's rum time now. We're going to have a lovely little Sailor Jerry's and we're going to take you in the rear entrance for this week's ditty. And just whilst I'm pouring this tit of rum, I just want to say a massive thank you to this week's pirate crew. Thank you for everything you do. It really does help. Anyway, let's get ourselves in that rear entrance. Here we are in the rear entrance and apologise for the noise. Bonnie's having a right good chomp on a bone. Yeah, that'd be rude. Anyway, we're just going to wet the lips. A little bit of a Sailor Jerry's. So cheers, everyone. And also to let you know that I'm actually trading this weekend as the pirate boat at the Huddlesford Heritage Gathering in Litchfield. Yeah, so if anybody's around, wants to go to an event, then it's a really good festival. It's on Saturday and Sunday, and I'll be there in all my pirate garb. But I'll show that in a future video. Anyway, we've got two little ditties. <laughs> I always feel rude saying two ditties. And the first one is from Nobody You Know. That's the name. It's good, that, isn't it? And it goes a little something like this. She is, she is, the Pirate Queen. Through many a lock, we know she's been. Never afeard to be covered in jizz. With first mate Bonnie, she conducts her biz. With a tittle of rum and a hey-ho-ho, -ho, away on adventures they always go. She is, she is, the Pirate Queen. Ah, oh, how lovely is that? Let's have another little shot. Little tit of rum. We're just going to wet the lips. Only wet the lips, so don't get all, you know, don't go gulping. Yeah. Mm. Oh, love it. Right. And this other one is quite short, and it's from Stephen Davenport. And this goes like this. Heidi likes rum. It's her favourite tipple. It's getting cold now, because I've just seen her shiver. That's brilliant. Oh, so if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And before I go, just a massive shout out to my patrons who help me every single week. And we have a nice little banter on there. So a huge thanks to the patrons. Anyway, that's it, guys. So please stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>